Hola, and welcome to your weekly adventure on High Plains Passport. We arrive today at part three of our series in which we are exploring El Salvador through the eyes of its artists. We are heading now to an art gallery called Artifacto. I'm already charmed by such a clever name. It's a classy place, crisp and white, well lit and lined with art. The narrow room leads me like a circle around the exhibit, slowly pausing as I pass each photograph. My eyes hold on to each frame, bouncing around the photo as if it were a playground. This artist instantly impresses me because of the angle he has taken on everyday objects. The exhibit is called Paris Lineal, or Linear Paris. The artist is Alejandro Funes. There's a still photo of him sitting front and center of the gallery. His eyes are closed. His dreadlocks are feathering out as he flips his head back with a simple smile that shows he simply loves life. I have the great pleasure of meeting the gallery manager. He stations himself next to the still photograph of Alejandro, his brother. Bueno, me llamo Carlos Mauricio Funes. Carlos introduces himself as a cultural producer. Again, I'm charmed by the phrasing, but it makes sense as he continues to explain artifacto. To him, an artifact is any device used to make something. For example, it's what a paintbrush is to a painter, a guitar to a musician, a camera to a videographer, which is what Carlos does when he's not passing his time at the gallery. He makes documentaries, mostly about El Salvadoran artists. Carlos is doing all that he can to support art in El Salvador, because art is an artifact that we as cultural bodies leave behind. They are the relics that over time will define a culture. Art is what remains after an experience, after an existence. As one artist to the next, I believe that Alejandro understood the importance of art and culture. I see this in his work. Alejandro has mastered the use of repetition, which is why these photographs, though new, feel familiar. He uses the shapes of the city, everyday designs, to create these almost abstract compositions. But they are only abstract because of the unique perspective, the angle. These photographs are of Paris, a place far away from here. It is where Alejandro studied photography through a cultural exchange program. Alejandro never returned from France alive. He was assassinated shortly before the 2009 presidential election when their father, Mauricio Funes, though distraught, remained undistracted and was elected the president of El Salvador, which explains why Carlos has a handful of bodyguards surrounding him. Although Alejandro didn't return, the artifacts of his existence did. His aspirations returned too, burning like a torch bestowed from one person to the next. Carlos and his mother created this foundation in honor of Alejandro. This was his dream to return to El Salvador and pursue just this, what Carlos is making in his memory. Carlos plans to continue to be a cultural producer by providing the space for artists to showcase their talents, their depictions of the world around us. And their artifacts will likely outlive most of them, just as this current exhibit reminds me. And people will one day look back on El Salvador and see familiarity, integrity, and simple smiles. High Plains Passport is written and produced by Valerie Smith, music from Jose Gonzalez and myself. Our show this week is sponsored by the Cultural Relations Board of the City of Garden City, Kansas, monitoring policies and practices of the city to ensure fair application. Information available at garden-city.org. Discover more on our website, hppr.org.